Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington. So, in the last video that I posted, it was an unboxing video, this is also one. It's the same day, this is just like a few hours later. Um, I expected this be around the same time, so I was actually surprised that it came in late. But, as you can see, I'm standing up. What is, what could this be? I'm like really surprised, like excited for this. So, I picked this up at a really good deal on Reverb Used, and when I pull it out, I'll um, I'll show you. So this is a this is a a uh, unboxing slash like first impressions. So I talked a while ago for any of my subscribers that have watched a fair amount of my videos within like the last few months or about a guitar that I was looking into buying. And I asked their opinions, like, should I get one? Um, I'm a modder. I love modding guitars. I love building them. And this is considered a great mod platform. And I have it upside down. Let's hope the headstock isn't broken. That would make me very sad. Oh, so much styrofoam peanuts. So, first off, I will say it's a lot heavier than I expected, which is good. Um, people were saying it was really light. Nice gig bag. It's not the original gig bag, which is fine. Um, we got case candy. We do have case candy. Let's check this case candy out. Uh, an Epiphone sticker. That's weird. <laughs> like I said, I bought this used, so the guy probably just like gave me stuff. Um, so yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet that he bought the guitar and all this case candies for the other guitar because it's all Epiphone stuff. And this is not an Epiphone. Although, some people wish it was. Any more case candy in any of the pockets? Yep. Trust rod cover because it has a special trust rod cover. So this bad boy open. Oh wow, oh wow. I really appreciate that. This guy not only packaged it in the box, but packaged it in the bag too. That's what we call a great um, seller off of uh, Reverb. And it wasn't even that far. It's in the same state. The dude was shipping it from like a few cities away. I just don't have a working car right now. Um, some people might be like, well, if you don't have a working car, why are you buying guitars? A, it was a good deal. B, I have the money set aside for my car, so. That is taken care of. Don't worry about that. Just waiting for my mechanic to get some free time. So. There is a reason why in my last video, I talked about buying an Epiphone SL. Man, so obviously you can guys can kind of guess what this is from just the body. It's a Gibson M2. Um, now, a lot of it is light. Like I can hold it in this one hand, but I will say it's heavier than I expected. I expected this thing to like be way too light. Like I expected it to be. Um, um, almost weightless, and, yeah, so, um, if any of you guys who have seen my videos remember, I had a Fender Telecaster I bought for myself for my birthday, uh, last year, and that is what, that I got in the mail, uh, it was a parts caster, and I expected it to be that light, um, the body was made, now looking back on it, I think it was made out of, um, Paloma or something like that. Like it's 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 nicknamed the Phoenix Wood. Anyway, so Gibson M2, real Gibson, uh, trust rod cover replaced. I actually really like the art style of that. So why buy a Gibson M2? Well, first off, and I'm shooting myself in the foot here because if I ever decide to get rid of it, people can look back at this video and be like, "Oh, you paid this much for it." <laughs> Whatever. 
I paid two fifty shipped to my house. Um, so half the price, a little over half the price of this originally. Grover tuners instead. Um, this has already been modded like crazy. Uh, new bridge actions way better. Gibson burst brucker or burst buckers um, instead. Does it? Yeah. And I think uh, a switch craft jack. Tell you what, that neck is really nice. I like that neck a lot. It is super light. I mean that that's how thick the body is. It's it's like here's a real Gibson Les Paul. Here's a Gibson M2. The bodies. Let me do this shot in comparison. So it's like maybe half the thickness, which is fine. Um, I will have a proper review of this guitar out soon, but I wanted to do this unboxing. So I'm really excited. I got more stuff coming. Um, a new amp and 412 as well. So yeah, more videos coming soon. Jack Punky didn't signing out. Peace guys.